Hi, my name is Sandra Steingraber. I'm a biologist, an author, a mother, and I live in upstate New York, offering my support and love uh, and solidarity to those who are marching across our nation for action on climate change. All of us, I think, have our own moments of epiphany about how we need to bring our own skill set, our own talents, and our own convictions to the struggle to divorce our economy from its ruinous dependency on fossil fuels and take action based on those convictions. For me, this moment came when my son, who's now 12, was four years old, and he asked to be a polar bear for Halloween. And I went to work sewing him a costume. And uh, I'm a biologist, so I have some pretty good sewing skills <laughs> left over from all the years I did animal surgery. So I made him a costume of a polar bear, and as I stitched this chenille bedspread, it was with the knowledge that this costume might well outlast the species. And that night, out on the street with my son, I began to see other children dressed up as animals who are vanishing. There was a girl uh, just ahead of him dressed as a monarch butterfly, and there was a child as Kermit the Frog, and there was the, a bat, <laughs> and there was the kid who was the bumblebee. And I realized that all of these species are going absent our immediate intervention, and children love these species, and they read about them in books, and I began to see a future in which these costumes would be hanging on pegs in closets and their real life antecedents would be vanished. And the grief of that moment actually brought me to my knees right on the street in my own village holding a, a plastic pumpkin full of Kit Kat bars. And what got me up off my knees was love and, and a realization that however overwhelming this task, I had to turn my attention to it and do whatever I could and work as hard as I could to, to turn this around. The, the science I know as a biologist tells me that we have a, a very rapidly closing window by which to take action before our climate is tipped over into runaway chaos, the kind of chaos that wouldn't even allow agriculture to happen. But as long as that window is not closed, then we, we're obligated as parents, um, as human beings, as adults in this moment in history, to stand up and do whatever we can, just the way people in other human rights movements, uh, whether they were abolitionists, members of the French resistance, um, women who fought for the right to vote, they too probably were uh, shy people, not necessarily born to action, but who, who had to rise to the extraordinary occasion that they found themselves. And, in that spirit, I know that you're marching across the nation. Knowing that you're doing that gives me inspiration and is wind under my wings to do the work I do as a biologist uh, and as a co-founder of New Yorkers Against Fracking. Um, so I wish you all the best. Um, and I hope that those um, who you meet will join you uh, because there's something really meaningful and profoundly happy about joining your body together with your, uh, your convictions and your knowledge about the, um, the extraordinary times uh, in which we find ourselves. So what we love, we must protect. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for acting on that. Um, and, and I'm going to redouble my own effort.